Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now, for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, well, we have a beer from Italy. I've never had this beer. Looking forward to it. I believe it's pronounced Bira Morena. Morena or Morena? I'm not quite sure about that. And, um... I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of the brewery, and I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of the city it came from in Italy, because I'll just butcher it. But it will be in the description box. All the information is always down there. Now, unfortunately for me, I bought this beer in good faith. The price tag was right there on top of the bottle cap, and the bottle cap happens to have the, the date that it was brewed. It's a Julian code. And so this beer is now one year and eight days old. Mm. Well, the good thing is, the good thing is that it was refrigerated when I bought it, and it's been in my refrigerator since. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed that it's okay. I'll know right away if it's overly carbonated. That is a sure sign that is an old beer. Anytime you get a beer and it hits your tongue and you say, oh, wow, that's a lot of carbonation, don't drink it. It's old. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to hurt you, but it's just not pleasant to drink. I definitely don't have this bottle cap, so I will save it. And a good sign is it didn't come up over the top of the uh, neck of the bottle because anytime you open a beer, now, generally speaking, because somebody could have, have shaken it up, but uh, if you open a beer that's a bottle or a can and it goes all over, that's probably an old beer as well. I'm going to use this lovely old-fashioned style Pilsner glass. This is a, a really old glass, and it's been in my family for a very long time, and uh don't know if my dad used it, but he always poured his beers into this kind of glass. And I like the way that poured out. See, we don't have a lot of uh, a lot of foam buildup. We got a little bit left in the glass. In the glass, yeah, right, in the bottle. By the way, that's 11.2 ounces, which is the international standard, 330 milliliters. Uh, we're the only industrialized country in the world that doesn't use metrics. Well, that's very beautiful, clear, golden colored. It's got some nice carbonation rising up. It made a nice amount of foam. When I think about a Pilsner, this is the, this is exactly the pour that I'm thinking about. And this time of year, I mean, we're getting into summer now. Man, it's 84 degrees out today. That's in Fahrenheit. Uh, I guess, what is that, 28, 29 in Celsius? Hey, I don't do those conversions off the top of my head that quick. But, hey, I want to thank the brewers over there in Italy for all the hard work they put into brewing this batch of beer. Many cheers to them, and cheers to you at home for watching. Thank you. Oh, uh, that's pretty darn good. You see, this is what I'm talking about. If you take care of a beer, if you store it properly, It'll keep. It'll keep. Now, this beer is a, just slightly over a year old, but if it had been out at room temperature under some bright lights maybe and near heat, it wouldn't have made it. It wouldn't have made it. Heat and light are the two killers of any beer. I don't care what it is. Heat and light will kill a beer quicker than anything, quicker than age. Matter of fact, a lot of beers that are... Uh, Aged in bourbon barrels or rum barrels, they could last almost indefinitely under proper storage condition. I said almost indefinitely. Now, you don't want to drink a beer that's 25 years old, although I've seen that done on YouTube. And I don't know if that's a, uh, a prank. I don't know if that's a joke. But I tell you what, I would not want to drink a beer that's 25 years old. Wine, certainly. Yeah, but a beer? Mm. What was the name of uh, President Carter's brother? Was, was it Billy? 
Was it? Yeah, Billy Beer. I saw a guy drink Billy Beer on YouTube. Now, I tell you what, you could have sold that can of beer for a lot more money than you made on the revenue from YouTube. Yeah, Billy Beer. <laughs> oh, Billy Bob, Billy Beer. <laughs> Hmm. I forgot to tell you about the aroma. It's a little bit flowery. But when you drink the beer, oh, it's got some wonderful malts there in the backbone. But as it goes over your palate, it very quickly turns the hops and just a slight little bitterness on there. Now, this beer to me is light body. It has light carbonation and it would go well with Italian food. No doubt about it. There's a little bit left in the bottle there. I didn't quite get it all in. Because this is this is an old fashioned uh, glass, and it's only eleven ounces. I don't know why. Back in the day, they made beer glasses eleven ounces. When here in the states, all the beers are twelve ounces. I don't get that. Uh, there must be some kind of marketing uh, strategy there, but I don't know what it is. You know that's pretty darn tasty. I do like that. Bira Morena. Bira Morena. Morena, maybe. Morena? Mm, I don't know. I'm not Italian. Okay. Hey, forget about it. Yeah, but this is a, a good beer. I would definitely buy it again. But if I do, I'm going to have to look under that price sticker and see what the Julian date code is. Now, for those of you who don't know about a Julian date code, it's generally five digits. Now, there might be a letter in there, a production code or something, but the first three numbers are the day of the year. So, for example, if it says uh, 30, let's say it says 030, that means the 30th day of the year. So, if it says 030 and then a 23, that means it was brewed on January 30th, 2023. Now, how about that? It's called a Julian date code. It would be much simpler if they just put on there January 30th of 23, but I don't know. Uh, most most of the time, that is on imported beer. I don't care what country it comes from. Most of the time, it says that. Now, on some beers that are, are coming to the States, they put quite clearly on here, uh, drink before this date. They don't put the born on date. They say drink before this date. And you can just about bet that they give nine to 12 months on that. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna be generous on the dates. But I'm telling you, an IPA, anything over 90 days is iffy. Unless it's a New England style IPA, then you can go, you know, six months. I like this beer. Very smooth and easy drinking. This would be a satisfying beer after a hard day at work, no doubt about it. Hey, uh, where did I put that bottle? Oh, what happened? What happened to my bottle? I lost the bottle. Here it is. <laughs> beer Morena from Italy. Yeah, try it. You'll like it. I think it's pretty darn good. Hey, life is short. you got to try new things, including beers like this from Italy. It, it might surprise you. Yeah, because Italy's not really known for beer, but this is a pretty good beer. Hey, with that said, let me run out of here, my friends. And until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina, and they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure, but the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast, and if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair, more than fair. 
So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just uh, a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I, I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. 
This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.